Hi, I'm Gary Noggle Jr. with Gary Noggle Company and we're here at a job site today uh, raising the uh, foundation on a crawl space. Um, it is settled due to the, the drought that we're having. We're seeing a lot of that this year and uh, there was nothing wrong with the structure itself. Everything was uh, put into code. It's just uh, in Boone County here we have a lot of clay and when we have the drought and combination of the trees that we have on this property uh, the clay shrinks and uh, that causes the foundations to fail and drop. I, I see that we're uh, raising it uh, off the existing piers as opposed to digging new piers. Is that less expensive? It is less expensive to do it that way and uh, it because uh, if you have another drought again it could drop again on you. Many people have been calling asking us what to do in the meantime. Should they be watering their foundation? Uh, they should be watering their foundation. Uh, but if the bottom of your piers or footings are deep, it is something that you need to really plan ahead the beginning of the year. And as the rainfall starts to diminish, you should start watering at that point. Because once uh, you get into a drought and you're trying to water and get your moisture depth down to, say, three feet or so, it's very hard to do. Can poor grading around the house attribute to these problems? Uh, poor grading can attribute to the problem uh, because it's going to make it wetter when you have the rain and then uh, it'll cause more uh, movement when it does dry out. If I wanted to learn more about Gary Noggle Company, where can I go? Uh, visit our website. Okay, with this project we're trying to raise an addition because of the severe drought Mid-Missouri's been under. Uh, this is August, uh, and right now the weather uh, channel is saying we're about one foot of rainfall behind. So you can imagine three foot deep concrete piers holding a small addition, quite frankly, wasn't deep enough. So we've got our men underneath now slowly jacking up all the piers, and hopefully we turn this to the original position. You can see the cracks that we're dealing with. And I sure hope that these close up. Okay. What are we at? Two, two and three quarters? Yeah. You want to go up to? My name's Alan Havig. I live in Columbia. Uh, lived in a house for more than 40 years. Earlier this year, we had Nogo put in a front sidewalk, which pleased us very much, and did another small job. But then we had a problem with an addition that was separating from the house. So we called Nogo back. They said they could do a job for us, and they came out and did it in less than one day. That's only the next day that I'm talking now, but I'm pleased with the way it went and hope that it, it won't happen again.